uh, thanks for clicking on this tutorial this is back up here so let us move on to the today's agenda so this is a part 4 on git tutorial so how to use git important commands with the project so this is the high level agenda i'm having so how to resolve git conflicts so this session involves how to deal with the branches that that means how to switch between the branches then how to merge two branches and also i'll be discussing about how to add the files into the staging area then finally i'll talk about how to commit and push code changes into the git remote repository so first i'll talk about when this scenario will occur so that means so uh, git conflicts and how to resolve it so let us say so this is one of the java file whenever multiple people are trying to update the same file in the same line number right so that time so this git conflict will occur so i'll uh, show you with an example so how it will occur and how to resolve the git conflicts so simply i'll move on to the eclipse id now so this is a project what we have cloned it uh, from the git repository so i'll refresh this project so if you look at this project so it is uh, switched into the master branch right so i'll go to the command prompt and simply i'll create the one branch git branch followed by test 10 so i'll simply i'll say git branch this will list all the branches so currently i'm having master branch and the test 10 branch so now i'll check out the test 10 branch that means i'll be switching into the test 10 branch so git check out followed by the branch name that is a uh, test 10 so that's it if i go to my eclipse id now so now i should be checked out test 10 branch so that's it if you look at here so it is switched into the test 10 branch so what i'll do i'll open one of the java file that is selenium grid demo dot java class so here i'll add to system dot print lens so in the line number 29 and the line number 31 so in the line number 29 i'm adding one system dot print ln so here i'm saying git by backup n the line number 31 i'm saying so test ng by backup n so that's it so this change i'm doing it in the test 10 branch so that means i'm doing it in my local machine so let us say go to the, our git remote repository so i'll update the java file same java file that is uh, selenium grid demo dot java file so in the line number 29 and line number 31 again i'll add the to system dot dot print sorry system dot out dot print ln so if you look at here so this is the line number 28 so here i'm adding n unit by backup by n so another in the line number 31 i'm adding framework development by backup by n right so let us say one of the team member updated the code in the line number 29 and line number 31. So sim simply I'll commit changes here. So already I'm having a updated code. So that means in the line number 28, somebody added the some lines of code and committed, sorry, pushed it into the Git remote repository, right? So now what I'll do, in my local also even i am adding the some lines of code in the same line number that means in the same file in the same line number right so now this time it will 
show you the git conflicts so whenever you start merging the these two branches right so still i am in in the test 10 branch whenever i'm started uh, pushing code changes into the git remote repository i'll get the git conflicts right so i'll simply i'll close this file i'll go to the command prompt now so here i'll say git status so just now we have updated the this file that is selenium grid demo.java class so simply i'll say git add followed by star so i'm adding this file into the staging area and I'll, now again i'll type git status so i am checking the status of the file so if you look at here so now this file added into the staging area you can check out the color of this path of the file so once you added into the staging area that uh, updated file so now you need to do a commit to the branch here i'll type git commit followed by hyphen m so you can specify the commit message so simply i'll say updated grid class so that's it so now i have committed my code changes into the test 10 branch only so still i have not pushed this code changes into the remote repository yet right so so this is a one branch that is a test 10 so first i need to push code changes into the master repository and then only i can push into the git remote repository right so that's the reason i what i'll do i'll switch it to the master branch then only i can merge test 10 branch and the master branch so if i need to switch to the master branch simply i'll type the git followed by checkout and followed by the branch name so i wanted to switch into the master branch right so now i switch it into the master branch if you can go to the eclipse id and check out just do refresh this project now you can see now we are in the master branch right so already somebody committed and pushed the code changes into the git repository right so if you look at here so in, in the line number 28 some system dot out dot printl and added the line number 31 some another system dot out dot printl and added right so currently i'm in a master branch right so what i'll do so first i need to get the latest code from the git remote repository right so somebody added and uh, pushed the code changes into the git rep remote repository i need to get the, this latest file right so for that reason what i'll do here so now i am under the master branch first i'll get the latest code from the git remote uh, sorry remote repository so here i'm just typing git pull origin master so this command will replace my master branch with the latest code right so if i type git pull followed by origin master so this command will get the latest code from the git remote repository so if you look at here so if i go to the my eclipse id now i'll do refresh this project so i'll open the selenium grid demo.java class you should be able to see the two lines of code in the line number 29 so you can see the n unit by pakkapayan and the line number 31 you can see framework development by pakkapayan so these two lines added by someone in the within the same team right so so now my master branch is having the latest code from the git remote repository 
and I'm having one more branch so that is a test 10 where my local changes are exist so now I need to commit so I need to merge test 10 branch into the master branch right so for that what you need to do so currently I'm under the master branch if you look at this eclipse ID also so now we are under the master branch so now I wanted to merge test 10 branch into the master branch because master branch is now having the latest code right so if I need to merge two branches you need to write one command that is git merge followed by the another branch name so currently we are under the master branch if I need to merge test 10 into the master so I need to type the test 10 here so this branch will be merged into the current branch that is a master branch right so if I hit enter here so here you will be seeing the conflict right so there is a merge conflicts on the so and so file right so whenever you get this this error message so you can see the automatic merge failed so fix conflicts and then commit and push push into the git remote remote repository right so simply you can go to the eclipse id now so do a refresh this project so if you look at here so it is highlighting the with the red color that particular package first that is com.testautomation.grid and after that it is highlighting one more class called selenium grid demo.java class if you open that file so here you can see that so there some arrow mark with the some head and here you can see the branch name so simply you can delete this so here you can say and after that you can delete this line also so that's it now your branch is having the code which is updated by yourself and another team member also right so if you look at here right so these two lines added by the someone in the same same team and these two lines i have added that means i have updated the this file right so now we are having the proper updated file so with the with the added uh, in a different lines right so just we have uh, maybe because we can't put in the same line all the code itself right so that's a reason so just i have deleted the all that arrow mark and the head and the branch name itself now i'll go to the command prompt now so here i'm just again the same process so what you need to do first you need to add the files into the staging area then you can commit and push into the git remote repository so here i'm just adding the files into the staging area by writing git followed by add and the star so that's it now you can check out the git status so now you can look at this uh, file color also file path color now we can see in the green color that means this file added into the staging area so now i'll commit it by using the git commit followed by m then the commit message so here i'm writing merged conflicts so that's it so if you look at here now you can see that so that particular branch is merged into the master properly now you can type git push so this is a final command so after executing this you can see the code changes in the git remote repository
So now I'll go to the Git remote repository and I'll do refresh. So if you look at here, in the line number 28. So first two lines are added by the someone in the team and the line number 33 and 35. 33 and 35 the lines which is added by myself right so this is how you can resolve your conflicts so we have discussed how to overcome the git conflicts and how if anything git conflicts occur how to resolve the git conflicts so also i have discussed how to a switch between the branches and how to merge two branches and how to add the files into the staging area and in the final aid I have spoken about how to commit and push code changes into the git repository so that's a that's all I am having in this session so if you like this tutorial click on like and also comment in the comment section so uh, you can share with your friends and colleagues so stay tuned for the next tutorial on git thank you very much for watching this tutorial